Huntington, Indiana. Uh, my name's Christian, and I play drums. And my name's Jeff, I play guitar. My name's Ryan, and I play guitar and the voice. Um, Jeff, you're just doing, uh, like, a gap. Yeah. Every little thing yep. you do today sends out eternal echoes. Every single choice you make is a song that never stops. It goes on. And it's so what it happened to me. Shit, shit. I think the biggest distinguishing factor is um, just the lyrics because, you know, when you say Christian music, that still doesn't um, describe necessarily what the music sounds like because there's all types of genres within Christian music, but the distinguishing factor being, you know, the, the lyrical content. And so for us, being Christians, um, you know, our faith is the most important part of our lives and so naturally it comes through in, in the lyrics that we're writing. Um, so that's the biggest component of it, um, and kind of what sets it apart from, you know, non-Christian music. I forget what else yeah. was in the question. <laughs> um, I think for us, music in general is just um, kind of a way to to connect with people, and when it comes down to it, um, for us, it's just a way to to connect with people and build relationships, and, and hopefully um, minister to them and. Uh, enrich their lives through the gospel, whether that's um, playing churches or clubs. Um, it doesn't really uh, have to be characterized by Christian things, but for us, like Jeff says, like we're all Christians and we're going to live out our faith um, through everything we do, including our music. I think seeing music as not just an end in itself, mm -hmm. but as a vehicle toward another end, whether that is an expression of emotion or expression of a faith or lyrically, um, you know, being different in content, but but just kind of echoing once again, it's a vehicle. It's not the end of everything. Um, it's it's the tool that we're able to use in order to connect with people. challenge but um, we've 
kind of acknowledge it and try to be proactive about it is um, because we play on a lot of weekends, it means we're pulled out of our home churches uh, quite often on Sundays. Um, so that's the downside, but the positive is um, because we're you know, quite often partnering with different churches and different ministries, um, typically we're somewhere uh, you know, worshiping with other believers and uh, you know, participating in the church on a, a larger scale. And so, so that can be cool just because we are still worshiping and hearing the teaching of the word and uh, able to you know, just get together with believers throughout the country. Um, so kind of a double-sided coin there, but still maintain strong connections with our home churches and we're able to be there or even with the people there uh, like during the week not just on Sundays I think that's an encouragement as well I think sometimes the difficulty with uh, playing in churches often and everything is um, you just kind of get used to it and it's easy to let that kind of become your spiritual life instead of like personally uh, seeking out the road or the word or the testament that's for me so it's like really being intentional about, you know, staying in the word for myself personally um, and then letting that influence, um, you know, our ministry instead of kind of letting our ministry influence my personal spiritual life, if that makes sense. I think one of the cool things about being in the band is that even when we can't be a part of our home churches and even when we are a part of you know, other services around the country, whatever we're doing, the travel time affords a Christian community by definition, uh, because we are a band, and therefore there are multiple people, and since we're all believers, um, in a way we kind of form our own mini church, um, where we can be bouncing ideas off each other, and we can be discussing spiritual matters, and we can be encouraging each other in the faith, um, as another as a nuance to the to the other expressions of, of faith and, and growth. Um, and I, I really appreciate that angle of being in a band. It's kind of that, I would say, forced community where we have to live with each other and we have to grow from each other or it just doesn't work. You know? So um, I see that as one of the cool benefits of being in a band that, that has other Christians. How long have you been in the band? I've been in the band since uh, July 2013. When did you start playing drums? I started playing drums, let's see, I started playing guitar when I was seven. That's what kind of got me into music. And then a friend of mine got a drum kit and it was at my house. And I think I was 10 at the time. And uh, just started listening to CDs and decided to teach myself. What do you enjoy most about being in the band Out of Boy as you uh, tour and play shows? Um, Honestly, for me, um, just like relationships, whether that's uh, within the band itself, um, you know, we just kind of have a community um, on the road and during travel time where we talk and hang out and all that, um, to just connecting with people at shows. Um, I mean, it's just very much uh, about that, that relationship for me and being able to um, use music as a way to, to connect with their stories, share my story, and um, hope that uh, I can try to encourage them in some way through that. How did you become a follower of Christ? Um, my mom uh, got saved when I was six, and uh, I remember her um, coming back and kind of explaining it to me, and I remember accepting Christ when I was six. Um, but uh, similar to, to what Jeff said, just for the rest of my life, there have definitely been moments where uh, I feel like I've just connected or understood what it meant um, to be a, a follower of Christ more and more. And, um, it's just exciting knowing that like all of life is just a faith journey and um, you know, just always try to pursue growing, growing closer to God. What do you like most being behind that drum set with a crowd? Um, 
I love like just kind of getting the the entire view um, of everybody, and uh, honestly, I just love being able to like beat the junk out of something and have fun and connect with people and worship all at the same time. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just it's fun to just kind of go crazy. What do you? What's your hopes for the future of the band? Yeah. Um, just that we can continue um, just connecting with people and, and have an opportunity to 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 share the gospel and, and hopefully bring just some some hope and light into people's lives. Um, you know, whether that's through our our school shows where we're playing primarily um, on church kids or, or whatever. Like, just really want to pursue. share Christ with people through our music. We noticed early that you really got into the music and you got the crowd involved early. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, how do you do that? Is that, is that something you're looking for? You're, you kind of you kind of led the band early by standing up on the drum set. Um, yeah, I mean, just want to, again, connect with people um, and uh, just try to encourage them to kind of let loose and have a good time and um, just grew up going to shows and being encouraged by watching other bands do the same thing from an early age. And so uh, for me, it's almost a way of like paying that forward. I'm Ryan. And you do what? I play guitar and some piano and sing. Band is what is your uh, music past experience? Uh, I started singing when I was probably about five. I had my first solo in a kindergarten play. Uh, so I sang kind of all the way throughout growing up, and I uh, started playing guitar when I was 14, and started playing piano when I was about 19, and kind of went from there. Started a band of my own that I led for about six years. And stopped that and eventually came out to join out here. When did did you grow up in the church? I did. My dad was actually a pastor for a while, a youth and music pastor. So I do remember being three and a half and sitting in a room with my mom, at, you know, praying the sinner's prayer with her, as uh, you know, as much sin as a three and a half year old can have, and grasping as much as I could get at that time. Uh, it has, however, been a crazy journey since then for me. Um, not one of the stories of people that kind of run away from God and go off the deep end and get into a bunch of bad stuff. Um, I'm a story where somebody thinks of God as scary. And in high school, I was so afraid of God and so afraid of going to hell that I tried to live perfectly which resulted in uh, me having to deal with um, obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety disorder um, that was brought on because I couldn't be perfect in um, And so for me, the journey has been coming away from that and realizing that God is big enough and loving enough and gracious enough to accept us even when we're flawed and that Jesus took our place that we don't have to so it's been a journey of all of that, and just kind of um, growing throughout, learning more about who God is and what, what He does and what He's about, and, and trying to live in accordance with that. My name's Jeff. Jeff is, you are, uh, I play guitar. How many years have you been playing guitar? I started when I was 16 years old, and that was about 16 years ago. So I'll let you do the math. How did you learn to play guitar? I actually started on the piano, uh, so that was really helpful, already knowing some music and uh, being able to translate that over to guitar. Um, but I just bought a chord book and started learning some of the basic chords, and then 
um, this is before YouTube, so I'm telling you how old I am, but um, then I would get tabs and uh, learn some covers and try to figure out different songs and bands that I knew, and just kind of slowly and surely picked away at it. That's funny. How long have you been in Adam? Uh, I've been in the band since the beginning, so that was, we said, November 2004. Did you come up with a band name? Uh, it was actually one of my ideas, but we had like hundreds of ideas. It just happened to be a good one. Any reason behind it? There's not an incredible story, but we just liked the name Attaboy because it's a word of encouragement and it's lighthearted, and we felt like that was, you know, kind of a good reflection of who we are and who we want to be. So. What's some of your favorite moves on stage? I find myself doing a kick move, I guess you could call it. Um, I occasionally like to jump. Um, not sure really how else to describe. I know I have some. I know I make goofy faces when I play, which I wish that I didn't so much, but it's just the way that it goes. When did you become a Christian? What's that? When did you become a Christian? Um, when I was five years old, that was the first time I put my faith in Christ, but as you would maybe guess, you know, a five-year-old can only understand so much and so well, but, you know, throughout my life, there hasn't necessarily been one crazy major turning point, but just kind of a slow and steady, um, you know, journey, just learning more about who I am and who Christ is and um, how I respond to that, so it's just kind of been a, a journey. By the evil trying to beset you, you continue forging onward so that you can do it. <laughs> this is also an example of falling and getting back up and moving on. <laughs> 